Regardless of how angry he looked, his words came out calm and collected. Jungkook, first, I might like you to take your words back. If I bothered to come here myself, that meant I genuinely cared, and I meant to proceed everything with respect. His eyes darkened up as he took a step forward. Jungkook, second. If you knew about my identity and realized I was this dangerous, then you should have never called her with disrespect when I was around. Wine's father, are you threatening me in my own home? Jungkook, not threatening. I'm suggesting you to apologize to her and end it on nice terms. Because you don't want to see my other side. Wine, Jungkook, that she curved the tension between the two men. She held his arm and decided to stay quiet. Wine's father looked like he was going to blow out of anger, but even he knew he stood no chance before a mafia. Wine's father, you are trying to destroy the father and daughter's relationship. Jungkook, it was right the moment you called her a slut, and I can take anything but anyone disrespecting my woman. He shook his head. Wine, Jungkook, please, it it's fine. Just let's go from here. I don't want to stay here anymore. Wine's father, if we go from here, there won't be any space for you here anymore. Wine, you're asking me to give up on him just because you're coward enough not to accept him. Her eyes teared up as she yelled. It hurt her having to choose between her family and Jungkook. Jungkook, I don't give a flying shit about you, but if you stop her from meeting her mother, you will face my wrath, and trust me, you don't want that. The moment her eyes teared up was the moment Jungkook dragged her out with him. He hated the fact she was hurt, and he hated more that he couldn't just rip open the man's skull because he wouldn't approve it. The man was still her father, and Jungkook could give one chance to him because of Wayan, but his patience was never going to allow him to spare another chance. Wine's mother stood up as she saw Jungkook dragging Wine out, and she was crying. Wine's mother, what happened, Wine? Why are you crying? Wine hugged her mother and told her she will talk to her later, and went out with Jungkook. Her mother went to her husband next, and he looked quite angry. Wine's mother, will someone tell me what is going on here? Wine's father. Congratulations! Your daughter chose that man over her parents. What are you saying? She frowned. Tell me everything, please. Wine's father. He is a mafia. What's wrong with all of you? In her, there's no way I'm letting her marry anyone other than the man I bring for her. Wine's mother. You can't force that on her. It's her life, and she can choose her partner on her own. Wine's father, she is the sole hero of my business. She needs someone beside her who understands how to take care of these things, not the one who is going to ruin my years of hard work with his dirty ways. Wine's mother, don't act like you reached that point without having your hands dirty. And Wine doesn't want to take over the business. She wants to become a doctor. Wine's father, what the hell are you talking about? Wine's mother, that's her decision, and I won't let you force anything on her. Wine's father, look here, Martha, and listen to me well. She is my daughter, and she will do as I ask her to. Leave that man and inherit the business like she's supposed to. He bowed his face and walked back to his room, slamming the door shut. Wine, I shouldn't have left like that. He's still my father. She held the mug of hot chocolate tightly in her hands. They were in Jungkook's place as he made her sit in front of fireplace to keep her warm.
Jungkook, is he usually like that? Wan shook her head and took a sip of the warm drink. It soothed her muscles. The presence of Jungkook beside her gave her enough relief to not cry anymore. But her heart still ached every time she remembered how easily her father called her a slut. Wan, we don't even talk. Maybe over Christmases? That's it. I don't remember the last time I had a normal daughter-father conversation with him. I didn't grow up like daddy's princess. I know he provided me with all the luxury, but I sometimes really wanted his affection. Jungkook, I'm not letting you go, Wyan. I will respect and support your every decision, but I won't ever let you go. Wyan, I'm not leaving you either, Jungkook. She rested her head against his chest and snuggled in his embrace. He wrapped his protective arm around her frame and kissed her head. Wan, I will convince him. I will find a way. Sungo stood up, wrapping his jacket around her shoulders and picked her up. He walked towards his room. He needed to distract her. She didn't deserve getting so stressed over someone who was not even caring about her. In Jungkook's point of view, he had everything she would ever need. He would shower her with love and affection she missed her whole life. He was not a patient man, nor he was someone who would understand emotions except for when it came to her. He wanted to take her and go somewhere so far away where she wouldn't see that man's face ever again. But he was her father, and even if Jungkook wanted other things, she still cared. Jungkook, I will do anything you say. This is your chance. One thing, all right? The shine in Wine's eyes returned while she looked at Jungkook with mischievous expressions. That meant she could make him do anything he never liked. Maybe make him wash Barbie or do his makeup or yoga. Yes, he never agreed to that every time she told him it's good for releasing stress. But he had his ways. He always released his stress, destroying things and people, which Wine was not aware of. Wine, okay, skin care. She jumped down his arms. Jungkook, look, I have no problem with that, but I swear, if you pull out your cartoon panda pumping face mask, I'm out. Wine, you said anything. She teased and dragged him over to bed to take a seat and started tying his hair into a pony. She almost almost got distracted by what she had in mind as she looked at her boyfriend. Broad muscles and chiseled cheekbones, hair pushed back, tied in a pony, dressed in sweats, holy trinity. She cleared her throat as her cheeks slightly turned red at the scenarios her mind started to play and instantly rushed to close it. Jungkook smirked, knowing his effect on her and leaned back against the bed comfortably. Wine brought a few face masks and took a seat beside him. One was like he imagined, the face of a panda, and the other was a simple sheet mask. He sat there all chill, picking up the simple one only to get it snatched back by Wayan. Wayan, hands off. I will do it myself. Close your eyes. Jungkook, it was supposed to be relaxing, not threatening, I guess. He, however, closed his eyes. He felt her soft hand caressing against his cheek before he heard the mask packet tearing off and the cold against his cheek as she fixed the mask on his face. This skin care continued as she massaged his face and he lay there quietly. It relaxed him so much he started to feel guilty. He was supposed to help her distract, not the other way around. When she was done and removed the mask, he opened his eyes. She hovered above him and pecked his lips. Wine, welcome back, sweetheart. You are absolutely glowing. Jungkook, alright, I like the sound of that. She giggled as he pulled her above him and wrapped his arms around her waist, kissing her stress away, his hands brushing through her hair, tugging them behind her neck.
When she pulled back, she grabbed her cell phone. I have something to show you, she said as she excitedly showed him the pics from before, where she put on that cartoon mask on his face and laughed. He could let it slide this one time, but he needed to act to boost her happiness even more. So his expressions turned grumpy as he groaned. And like that, she laughed even louder, pinching his cheeks. Why? Oh, my love, how do I tell my father you are absolutely harmless? Zanko, let me remind you something. He smirked as he rolled around, so he was suddenly on top of her and pinned her down to bed. They could forget about everything tonight before facing her father tomorrow. And if she really needed to choose one of the two, one was not ready to choose any of them at all. To be continued.